In the forests at the base of Mount Kenya in Africa, Dr. Jack Githay and his team are collecting plants. A traditional healer for the past 36 years, he is a strong believer in their medicinal properties. The whole world is turning to natural medicine, natural products. Natural products are plants. We shred them, we dry them, we grind them, and we mix them and package them into the type of medicine we need. For centuries, herbal doctors have made use of the huge variety of flora carpeting the Kenyan landscape. Now leading scientists from the World Health Organization have commissioned a network of laboratories across Kenya to find out if such herbal cures stand up to modern science. They're hoping they could provide the next cure for malaria. Many years ago it used to be mistaken with witchcraft, but traditional medicine combined with the modern science can actually be a very big uh, potential of uh, pain drugs for many diseases. Each year, malaria kills more than a million people worldwide, with Africa bearing 90% of the death toll. Two-year-old Manisha has been admitted to a Kenyan hospital with the most severe form of the illness, cerebral malaria. Thanks to the drug quinine, this little girl will survive. But the fear is that this malaria parasite will soon develop resistance to current drugs. There is a possibility for development of resistance for today's treatment. And there is not a lot of drugs for, for treatment of malaria. So we really have to be on the guard of producing enough drugs to replace the current ones. Back at the Kenya Medical Research Institute, compounds from plants brought in from the wild are screened for anti-malarial activity. It's the first time such work has been coordinated in Africa. And so far, the project is showing promising results. Now, so far we've found that uh, about 100 plant extracts have got very high potential as antimalarials, and out of those, eight compounds have been isolated with very high potential as antimalarials. The next step now is to do animal experimentation and then human clinical trials, hoping that the compound will be developed as a drug for malaria. Cures for malaria will come from the plant we already have because they are there. They have been in use. The knowledge is here with us. The work being undertaken here in Kenya with African plants and African scientists means that the continent which suffers the most from malaria could soon be part of the solution to it rather than its victim.